you see, we sat down and then a man called Lord Frederick, that is Sir Frederick Lugard, who later became Lord Lugard. There's nothing Lord in him. You know, the man was just a brigand who looked on the native peoples, as he called them, and, pu and put ethnic nationalities who were independent nations together for him for administration. He wrote it under his memo to, to Lord Harcourt. Lord Harcourt then was the colonial secretary, or the, the secretary of the colonial office. He said for administrative convenience. Yes. So you brought people who had absolutely nothing to do with one another yes. and forced them into a contraption. And you call that contraption the nigger area. The area of the niggers. People think it's Niger area, but, yes. yeah, but let's forget about that. Now, it was to last for a hundred years. That creation, it is in the archives of the British. Was of that the a plan? British. To last for a hundred years? It's not even British. a plan. That was what was signed by Lord Frederick Lugard on in in in, in, 19, in 1914 a hundred years ended in 2014 and at that 2014 good luck gelatin decided to heed good good judgment and call for a national confab to renegotiate nigeria that confab was done report was made maybe he didn't have the lever to adopt and implement before he was taken out of office and the man who took over made it clear that he wasn't interested in that in that confab meanwhile the first article in the manifesto of the APC in 19, 2015 yes. was to restructure Nigeria. But now the restructuring of Nigeria will mean the Igbo man will have more control over his resources. Okay. It means the Edo man, the Rubu man, Soko man, Izo man. It means that the Oya man, uh, uh, man, That can be achieved yes. in the future. But, but they, they but, don't want that to be achieved. That is the problem. Okay. The, so we, we, uh, Nigeria is not following the articles of the letter okay. or of the principle of federalism. Okay.